So Ronald McDonald is taking on Aljamain Sterling in the main event of UFC 292. And man, this is an interesting fight. The Bantamweight champion Aljo is coming off a great win over Henry Cejudo where he utilized his length on the feet and outrides Sol Cejudo at some moments in the fight. However, he made it very, very close and won via split decision. And it's a story of uh, his title ring on paper. He, it's the best resume ever in Bantamweight division. However, his title winning fight against Jan, he won via DQ. And then I thought Jan was robbed in the rematch. And then Aljo beat a one-armed TJ Dillashaw. And then he barely beat Cejudo. So he really hasn't had a definitive title win in what is four title fights. So that, that's crazy, actually. But anyways, he's taken on Sean O'Malley, who is a very tall and long striker. But it's coming off a very close fight against Peter Jan, where I thought Jan won that fight pretty clearly. Peter was able to take down O'Malley six times. And although he's Russian, grappling is not his strength. Peter is a great striker that has been developing his grappling over the years. And Aljamain's biggest strength is his grappling, of course. And him being able to take down 5'4", stocky Olympian and Henry Cejudo is honestly freakish. What makes it so easy for Aljo to take guys down is his really long arms. He has a 71-inch reach at 5'7", while Sean is 5'11", with a 72-inch reach. Although Aljo has great grappling, his striking is just not up to par with his ground game. Uh, he's very open, and O'Malley is so good on the feet. I don't know how, but O'Malley's able to break through um, Peter Yon's super good high guard several times in their fight. He's a straight up sniper on the feet with some very good kicks as well. So that's what makes this fight so compelling is that both guys' weaknesses are the other fighter's strength. With that being said, I do think Aljamain will submit Sean in the third round with a rear naked choke. Sean in his fight against Yon gassed out pretty badly because of the grappling uh, Yon utilized. Yon was the first guy to control Sean on the ground and we saw it got Sean tired really fast. Peter Yon was able to take down Sean, but he couldn't keep them there most of the time. Whereas whenever you watch Aljamain's throwing fight, once he gets you down, you can't get up it seems. And I think he's going to drown O'Malley. Sean gave up his back several times against Peter Yon, and if you do that to Aljamain Sterling, you're going to get finished. And he's the best human backpack in the UFC right now. So yeah, I'm going to go with Aljo uh, third round submission. But hey, I'm just a kid, and this is my opinion.